Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. As promised, I said I would do a video today on an SDR, an XRP. And believe it or not, it, as I deep dove into all of the research that I was looking for, this can very well happen. This is how we go from where XRP is sitting right now to well over $1,000 per XRP. So buckle up, let's go. We all know the IMF, World Economic Forum, and World Bank Group are all working together. Or former IMF Managing Director Christine Lagarde raised the possibility of launching a digital version of an SDR. So what is an SDR? Special drawing rights are international reserve assets created by the IMF to supplement the official reserves of member countries. The value of an SDR is based on a basket of five currencies. How are SDRs used? SDRs are allocated to IMF member countries in proportion to their relative share in the IMF. Countries can exchange SDRs for hard currencies with other IMF members. So, you have to have a lot of value to do that. It can't just be sitting at 30 cents, 40 cents. And I'm going to talk about what I think is going to happen, but let's continue. So, our target market is highly sophisticated financial institutions. New Bretton Woods moment. More likely, XRP is an SDR. David Schwartz talks about private ledger. See, YouTubers always make videos on this, as well as me. I do the same thing, because these are things that these people actually talk about. What they actually said. And I'm going to show you how this may all be coming to light. So, next two weeks it'll be over. To be in line for July 31st, 2022 through August 7th, IMF revisits SDR basket. I suspect they're going to select XRP as an ESDR. Now, why would people think that? Well, we see Brad Garlinghouse with Christine Lagarde on multiple occasions over the years. We also see Brad sitting at the World Economic Forum. So he already is tied into all of this. XRP will already be tied into it. And we just seen Russia back their digital ruble with palladium. So it can be done. That's proof that you can back a crypto or a digital currency with real metal. So why can't they back xrp with gold and peg it to the price of gold that's where this is going so it's a conspiracy theory xrp holders are some of the most delusional people in the space there will be no buyback there will be no 589 there will be no esdr just take profits out when it pumps and hold the bag just in case the broken clocks are right that person will never get rich that person cannot see what's coming that's the fud that people spew all over crypto twitter and the thing is they have no vision to actually see it they didn't do the research to actually see it you know when we talked about a new financial system coming back in 2019 2020 people thought we were crazy they said yeah that's never going to happen that's years down the road but here we are in 2022, and guess what? The new financial system is already being built. Then we see this. Bridge any asset. Sourcing global liquidity. Quadrillion plus derivatives market. High potential to be an ESDR. Nice list, but you missed a lot of the main reasons for the price to hit three to four digits. Retail investors aren't what's moving the price to big numbers. It's true utility. XRP can easily get to those numbers based on its own use case, its own utility. But you know the flip of the switch moment people are talking about? That's what an ESDR would do for XRP. The second they announced that, and the second they put it in place, 
it goes from literally where it sits right now to being pegged to gold. And then we see this. IMF sets new currency amounts for SDR valuation basket. And these are the countries involved. So you see the U.S. greenback, the euro, Chinese language yuan, Japanese yen, pound sterling. These amounts have to be high. I'm figuring somewhere around $1,800 would be what would be needed as a value on XRP if they were to do this. So bottom line, dollar and RMB weighs in SDR basket up, euro, pound, yen way down. And the thing is, we see liquidity issues coming all over seas. You know, we see it, bank lockouts, things like that are happening as we speak. We see energy crisis coming this winter for a lot of those countries. We see other countries already moving forward with their own plan. This would give the IMF a, an upper hand if they were to do this. So, from June, Russia and China are developing a new reserve currency with other BRICS countries. The basket currency would rival a U.S.-dominated IMF alternative and let Russia widen its influence. Dollar's dominance is already eroding as central banks diversify. Do you see what's going on? China wants to control everything over there because the IMF is starting to fall behind. Making XRP and ESDR would push them ahead of China. That's why this can very well be possible. And I'm going to even give you more proof at the end of this video. So I believe it's done. It's over. XRP is a currency. Where do you think all of Jeb's XRP went? IMF? I mean, this is what makes sense. That's why this can very well be happening as we speak. You don't see Vitalik Buterin meeting with global monarchs and the top financial institution directors and presidents, but you do know who you see. And if you blow this up, right here is Brad Garlinghouse. Here is Christine Lagarde. You can almost see this coming to light at this point. Everybody wants that flip of the switch moment to happen. People have been talking about it for years. This will get us there. So 2019, Fed, IMF, and the World Bank approve of XRP. So that was back in 2019, when we were still talking about the new financial system and people not believing a word that you were saying. People said it was a conspiracy theory back then. People said, that's just a delusion. People are delusional if they think that the, anybody's going to go along with a digital currency. If anyone's going to go along with, you know, XRP moving all the money. It made no sense to them. But now we're starting to see it. And we can also see XRP as an ESDR. So, private banks bailout, central banks bailout, IMF bailouts both private and central banks. XRP is the solution. Then we see this. IMF bailout countries and Lagarde is seen a lot with Ripple. Why? ESDR basket plus XRP bailout. Hmm. I think a certain level of debt forgiveness will happen. Banks only care about interest payments. They know the principal on their loans can never be paid back. The thing is, we're going to see XRP being used so often and most people won't even know it's happening. In other words, think about when we're moving all the money in the new financial system. People won't even know XRP is doing that. But we will because we're crypto holders. We hold XRP. We know its use case. We know its utility. The same people that can't envision XRP being part of an ESDR are the same people that can't see the true use case, the true utility of XRP. So I, if XRP becomes the global reserve currency and is backed by gold, possibly one XRP at about $1,800 or so, 
but this would be via IMF BIS mandate, not by organic supply demand market cap. That's what I'm always telling you. Never look at market cap. Never look at what XRP did in previous cycles. XRP is much bigger than that. It has much more use case, much many more ties to the important people of the world. Now, a lot of people don't like what the World Economic Forum is doing, and I can agree with that. I don't like it either. I don't want to have a digital ID and a global credit score. I don't want any of my information tied to government. But guess what? This is all still going to happen whether we like it or not. So why not get rich off of it while you still can? Why not get rich and make your life much better? So trust the plan. In reference to XRP, Gary Gensler is neither good or bad. He is fulfilling an agenda. The world needs XRP sooner rather than later. IMF, World Economic Forum, BIS, needs XRP sooner rather than later. He knows who has the gold, he makes the rules. Trust the plan. Here's the thing. These people are the 1% of the world. The 1% never loses. You got to invest in the same things that the 1% invest in. So the IMF warns of a global debt crisis, liquidity crisis. Pay attention. I've been saying it on this channel in multiple XRP videos. They are going to create a huge liquidity crisis to bring in XRP to save the day. This can be very well what is happening right now. We may only be a week away from this actually coming to light. This can happen before August 7th. Think about it. Look how close the case is with XRP and the SEC. They're looking for a settlement. They're looking for a reason to settle that. They don't want you to see the emails. Think about it. If that settles and XRP becomes an ESDR, the price will instantly go over $1,000 just like that. People sitting on the sidelines will not even see it coming. That's how quick it'll happen. You need to really know what you hold right now and be very cautious. There's a lot of scams going around with, kip, with crypto right now. Be very careful. With that said, folks, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great afternoon.